What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install seat jackers on the Ram trucks. This will work for 2002 to 2018 Ram 1500s as well as 2002 to 23 Ram 2500 and 3500s as well as the 2019 to 2023 Ram Classic. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we will be doing. So we're going to need to remove this cover, which is popped right off. Set that out of the way. We're going to be removing this bolt, this bolt over here. We'll come to the back. And we're just going to loosen those two bolts there. So these are going to be an 18 millimeter socket and the ones up front are a 15, uh, so you'll need a 15 and an 18 millimeter socket. Um, you'll also need a five millimeter Allen, and I recommend getting one with the 3 8 adapter, but you will also want to torque these down. So, okay, here's our seat jackers. Um, hardware is provided, so let's go ahead and get started. Just one more thing I wanted to point out real quick. So. I've got the center console in the center here, so two individual captain seats. The seat jackers will work on either one of these seats. Now, if you've got the jumper seat in the middle with the fold down center console, you're not gonna be able to install it on, I believe it's the, the passenger side. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's connected to the passenger side. So you're only gonna be able to install these on the driver's side. Just keep that in mind, look at what you've got and determine whether you're going to be able to install the seat jackers on both seats or just one of them. Okay guys, so step one, we will be removing these factory bolts. This is a 15 millimeter bolt. Let's take these out. We will not be reusing these. I would recommend just setting them in your garage somewhere safe just in case you need to reuse them at some point down the road. We also recommend using blue Loctite. I will not be using blue Loctite in this video just because uh, I will be pulling these seat jackers back out. This is just a demonstration video only. So, okay, let's move to the back. Okay, we've got our floor mat out of the way. Let's take our 18 millimeter and just loosen put these up. Again, don't take them out. I'm just gonna leave them about half an inch or so. Put space there. Just wanna be able to lift this seat high enough to slide our seat jackers underneath. Okay. Back to the front. All right, we're back in the front. We're just gonna slide our seat to the back. Now, if you've got somebody helping you, you can ask them to pull on the back of the seat, lift it up. I am by myself, so I'm just gonna be pushing back on this and holding it up as I slide the seat jackers underneath there. So let's get this package opened up. Got our little other seat jack here. You'll see that that's engraved on the front. That will be facing out, so they'll mount just like that. And they're both the same. So you can use it on either side. Here's the hardware. Got these two five millimeter Allen head screws those are gonna bolt the seat jackers to the floor replacing your factory bolt and these are the bolts with the washers that will attach your seat rail to the seat jackers also don't forget sticker you're gonna want to put that somewhere Okay, 
propped up on the seat. Jersey jacket under there. Line that up. also going to have to torque these bolts down before we can move on to attach these ones because they will be covering the seat leg will be covering this hole so what we'll do is we'll get these snug we'll get them lined up just where we want them you can see they kind of rotate a little bit just so we make sure that we've got the space to uh, so just so it lines up when we go to attach the seat same on the other side thread them to start there you go yeah you want it tight you want to be able to move it a little bit but next we'll slide our seat rail over we'll make sure that they line up Looks like it'll line up pretty good over there. Same with over here. So I'm gonna lift it back off. This is where your torque wrench is gonna come in handy. You're gonna wanna set your torque wrench to 25 foot-pounds. There you go. That's one. One other bolt size I forgot to mention, 13 millimeter socket for these uh, replacement bolts to attach your seat to the seat jackers. So make sure you've got a 13, a 15, and an 18. Now, remember, you needed to put blue Loctite on those. You'll do the same on these. Just put some blue Loctite on there. Just a little bit to line that seat up. These uh, seat rails do flex a little bit, so if you got to flex it a little bit, that's fine. I also wanted to point out, you've got two different settings here. You've got the, the lower hole is going to give you three quarters of an inch of lift, and the upper hole is going to give you an inch and a quarter. So you've got some height that you can play with there as well. I'm just going to go ahead and go with the inch and a quarter. those you're gonna to want to come back with your torque wrench and we're gonna to torque these to 25 foot pounds there you go last thing we need to do is go back and tighten the rear bolts down so let's move back there all right, next thing we're gonna do is slide our seat forward, grab our 18 millimeter, and we're gonna torque these bolts. These are a bigger bolt, they're an M12 bolt. So we torque these to 55 foot-pounds. On your torque wrench. Two. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at this product. As you can see, it it adds quite a bit there. Shouldn't notice quite a bit of difference. So, okay guys, pretty simple. If you do have any questions regarding this installation or any other
questions about anything else, you can reach us at info at desertdesert.com or you can reach us at 702-381-1804. Thanks guys. We'll see you.